but see a oh. yeah. yeah. That sin nature, that human nature in me, it wants what it wants. It wants to be gratified at all costs. It don't care what nobody think about you, what they say about you. It don't care what the word of God says. Only thing it cares about is being gratified and satisfied. I'm here in church and I know I ain't to, can, I, can I just go through here now I, 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 uh, put your hands over your baby's ears now. now 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 the Bible says in Hebrew that the marriage bed is undefiled and we got some jokers that manipulated that scripture that say that we can go in our bedroom and operate in perversion and all kinds of stuff because our bedroom is undefiled he's not talking about that how you gonna fix the word of God up for your own personal oh God let me get out of here and I got dogs calling me and saying, Pastor, is this true? Because this is what they, they said, that the bedroom is undefiled. We can do what we want. The devil is alive. If you can do what you want to do, it was some folk that was married in uh, Sodom and Gomorrah that got destroyed. He got to go back and resurrect them folk. If he destroyed them and don't destroy them, don't want me to preach up here. If he said it's wrong, it's wrong. You can't fix it up. You can't change it. You can't alter it. I feel the Holy Ghost now. I know y'all don't know nobody that ever played with that scripture. We were doing it before we got married and got in the church. I don't see nothing wrong with it. I can tell you what's wrong with it. You're on a different side now. You slap your neighbor high five and say you're on the Lord's side now. Everything's not permitted on the Lord. <laughs> now I don't want me to preach up I could have stayed in two years. I could have stayed two or three more days. But I had to be back. Somebody say you need a Holy Ghost hookup. I ain't gonna even much lie. You need to get hooked up in the Holy Ghost. See, you know what my job is? I'm gonna tell you what my job is. Real easy. My job is to get you sprung. I want to get you sprung for the Holy Ghost. The way you were sprung for that woman, the way you were sprung for that man, that you will do whatever they say do without question as long as that's what that's my job is to get you sprung. Then for the older folk to get your nose open. Because when you love God with all your heart, you'll do whatever he, anybody ever love like that? I love with all my heart. Whatever my wife asks me to do, as long as it ain't wrong, I'm going to do it. Because I love with all of my heart. I know some of y'all still got your player players working. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to you. You ain't got nothing but a form of godliness. I ain't talking to you. You deny the power of living godly. See, that's some power that comes with a godly lifestyle. That's some stuff the Holy Ghost won't let me do. I didn't say it don't run through my mind, but the Holy Ghost says, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh, 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 John. The weapon of your warfare I'm not coming with the mighty through God for the pulling down the stronghold. You need to pull that right down. You ain't got no reason to even think it over that you, you need to deal with that. I know y'all got the lie. And they like y'all tell me, but I, I'm going to push it out. If we try Jesus, we gonna try your tail. Are you hearing what I said? Y'all don't want to. If he tempted Jesus, what make you think you special? <laughs> I gotta go out there. Y'all ain't ready for that. So what is lust? Lust is the burning desire to gratify your flesh. See, we get it all twisted. You ain't got to be sexual all the time. It's that burning desire. You know when you got that desire and you can't hardly rest and can't hardly, ooh, ooh, that made me think about when I was on them rocks. <laughs> oh, God, I couldn't rest. I, I, I had a burning desire to get out. Paul, you leave your pocketbook out raid without a, without a, y'all don't hear me up in here. I don't even need no search warrant. But 
I was armed and extremely dangerous. I'm getting radio batteries, anything you could say, a hub cap, whatever you could put, whatever could get ten dollars. Come on. Come on. I'd have had your weave if it wasn't on tight. They more than ten dollars. Them little things go. What y'all call a girlfriend? I'd have had a selection of them. I own my coat. I got one for every day. <laughs> I was messed up, y'all, because my human nature was out of control. Anybody, anybody, human nature besides me ever been out of control? You can always tell when it's out of control when you're doing things that you don't you don't want to do and you don't know you don't supposed to do, and then after you do it, you feel bad because yeah. your spirit convicted yeah. you about what you've done. You know, yeah, yeah. My, my spirit convicted me one time about arguing with prophets. I wanted to argue. I that day I just wanted to argue. I ain't gonna tell no lie. And once in a while, one of them arguing spells try to get on me, and I just want to argue. But later on, I felt so bad. Stuff. All our bills paid, everything. We ain't suffering, ain't going to just want to argue. And we way past that arguing and make up stage. If we argue, ain't no touching. Better not move. Mm. Y'all know nothing about that man on his side looking at the wall, and the other man on his side looking at the wall, and a pillar between you. Y'all know that. <laughs> oh, y'all probably be on the couch. I don't do couches. I might be looking at the wall, but I ain't giving up the room. <laughs> Watch this. I got to go on up through here, y'all. <laughs> but what the... Uh, and, and it talks about lust. Watch this lust. A burning desire to gratify your flesh. And I told you, your flesh is your human nature. This I say then. Walk in the spirit. And you shall not fulfill the burning desires of your human nature. I like what that one brother used to say, I ain't going to pay to do it. That's what I have to tell the devil, I ain't going to pay to do it. That sound good, but I ain't going to pay to do it. She flirted a little bit and she looked real good. Might be fine with that old lady, but I ain't going to pay to do it. Come on now. Oh, he ain't worth it. See, see, can I tell you something? He always offers you something you desire, but you got to consider the cost. What is going to cost me? It's going to cost me all of y'all, everything God does in my life. Y'all don't hear me going to cost me my integrity, my respect in this city. My name going to be fine. Man, I ain't got time. I'm not putting all this on the line. For no 15 minutes. I heard somebody say five. Come on now, come on now, come on. Now y'all need to pray. Now I, I, I'll call the altar call in the middle of this thing. Ain't no God in that. <laughs> Lord help us. <laughs> you say you be strong. <laughs> Stop by law. <laughs> Never gonna bless me. <laughs> y'all, I love y'all, because I can see myself here. Yeah, it gotta be all for it. So, so, watch this. I've gotta do something with this human nature. Now, I'm gonna show you something. Walking in the spirit, this is noteworthy. Walking in the spirit is a, watch this, is living a life submitted unto God. James 4, 7. Submit yourself unto God and resist the devil and he will flee. James 4 and 7. Submit. That means I have to get under the authority of God. Whatever God say in his word, I got to get under. I got to submit to it. I might not like it, but I got to get under. And if I don't, that means my human nature is in charge. It ain't no good thing gonna come out of this flesh. Yes, Lord. Ain't nobody said nothing yet. Look at the neighbor and say, no good thing gonna come out of this flesh.